everybody, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh and this is Josh. Hi. And today we're talking about covering phlegm. Covering film. Covering phlegm is it uh, goes over covering your plane. Film. And I'm pretty sure that it's from solidified alpaca phlegm is where it comes from. <laughs> uh, but they you put know, it on the, on the plane. That would not only be gross, but smelly too. Well, whatever works. Covering film. Today we're going to be repairing a film covered airplane today. And uh, basically, we got this wonderful pit special from Hobby King. It was not damaged in the packaging, but it did get damaged. Um, how did that happen? I, you know, I'm not really sure. Well, it doesn't matter how it happened because we're going to fix it today. We're going to take you guys through the step by step process to fix different types. Uh, the nice thing about this is it was ripped on a spot that's two toned. So we're going to have a little bit of a creative fix. I want to show you guys how to do it effortlessly, quickly, and get back out in the field and fly it. All okay? right. Okay. All right. First thing you want to do is you want to always assess the damage. And uh, check your crap. Check your crap. Yeah, this is. Kind of Rips close. and tears. Rips and tears. Rip but, and tear right there. You know, he is a One special of these. There's crap. a rip, there's a tear. You know your crap upside down. Yeah, I do. Man, I'm impressed. Inside out, too. This would be a, this rip here would be very common if you flew into like a uh, bush or okay. something. You'd see that. Well, what if there's like some interior uh, damage? What if something went wrong inside? Man, you're good. Absolutely. Whenever you uh, do a repair on this, you always want to make sure that you inspect the structure within it. And to answer your question, um, this is your spar here. This is the main spar. This is what gives the wing all of its uh, strength. <laughs> what we want to do is we're going to actually cut this back all through here. We're going to inspect the wood. Okay. Now, if God forbid, say a branch came through here and busted one of those spars, mm -hmm. a couple different things you could do. With this section opened up. You can actually take some thin CA and, and put it on the uh, crack itself, but then you can also take a small piece of wood and actually shear web it. Okay. Uh, if it hasn't already been shear webbed, you can uh, put some wood going with vertical grain going this way and sandwich that in there, and okay. that will uh, give that uh, spar all of its strength back and then some. Okay. Okay. We have a two tone collar here, and we have the leading edge, the main spar, rib and rib. Now, covering film can stick to covering film no problem, but I always like to go off of wood or, or some hard, firm material such as the uh, balsa wood in the structure. So, what we're going to do here is take a nice sharp exacto knife and we're going to physically trim to the leading edge. Make an incision. Make an incision, just like a fine surgeon, huh? It's just like a surgeon. Lift that out. Now we can inspect everything. Mm -hmm. And I gotta say, Hobby King Pit Special, very nicely built. Look at all the lightning holes in those ribs. That's pretty darn cool stuff. Also, you can see here, is remember something about shear web? If you yeah. want to step farther, they actually put uh, plywood on there. So the odds of a, of a branch coming through and damaging this mm -hmm. would be very, very unlikely because this is a very is it well Charlotte's built. Web? It's, it's just yeah, Charlotte's Web. Shear webbing yep. is okay. what it's called. Yeah, this basically they plated the outside of the spars with a material that gives it more strength. Gotcha. Okay? For you guys out there, we have yellow, we have black. You don't want to cover this whole surface with black and then put a little trim piece of yellow in here because the black will change the color. Now one neat thing with uh, Hobby King covering film, if you see here, it's backed with white. So it is much less uh, capable of bleeding colors through. But I always recommend go with a lighter color first, follow over with the black. All right, we made our cuts all around here. And, but if you hear that, see how that's... Yeah. Flint. What we want to do is we want to seal that down. So we're going to just okay. take our sealing iron, seal down the edges. Okay. And that will give us a nice clean edge to work with for our covering film. Now the way this covering film works and, and all the other covering films out in the market, whether it be Monocoat, Ultra Coat, uh, what have you, Conocoat, is it works off of a heat adhesive. So basically, you can touch this stuff all day long, but it's not until you apply heat to it that's going to stick to anything. So once you apply heat to it, basically the glue is activated and it sticks. Okay? Um, so tell me this buddy, why is there underwear on the iron? Well you don't want an iron to go naked, do you? No, That'd just I be guess inappropriate. Not. Actually it's not iron, this is kind of like a foot. And this is called an iron sock. Oh, so it's a sock. It's a sock. This is Teflon coated, but after a while, and if you use your uh, covering irons quite a bit, they get scratches and, and uh, things like that. So basically, uh, this uh, sock will keep it from scratching the surface. So when you're done and you clean it all off, you won't have those microscopic little scratches that will uh, take away from the appearance. Okay. So good question. All right. And oftentimes when you put a sock on, it does slow the heat transfer down. So you gotta go a little bit slower over your surfaces, make sure that everything is uh, sticking properly. Next thing to do, and I, I think what we're gonna do here is, is I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it and then we'll just do a uh, quick video afterwards of everything going on. You wanna measure your, uh, your opening. And okay, as far as this goes, you're gonna to wanna to measure just a little beyond. I'd go about an eighth inch beyond on both sides. Keep or a few millimeters. Of a, of a lip. Yep, allow for some shrinkage. Okay. So basically when it shrinks up, you're not gonna lose your, uh, your adhesion. And, uh, what you're gonna to wanna to do is gonna cover this whole area. And after you cover that whole area, then we're gonna come back with the black. Okay. All right. Now for you guys, principles on using covering film, always do the bottom and then do the top on a wing. You do your bottom, you wrap it around the front, flip it over, and then you do your top. You don't want to do vice versa because then the air will, will catch it and actually help peel the uh, covering film away. We don't want that. Well, I think I know all I need to know. Let's let's get to it. You want to go ahead and do it instead of yeah. talk about well, it? Well, I'm, I'm not going to do it, but I want you to quit talking about it and just do it. He wants me to quit talking about it and just do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. Yeah, 
looks great, man. Looks, and we didn't burn ourselves. Yeah. You didn't good. burn yourself. We were safe. We were safe. And it looks pretty good. So what we did is, as you saw before, we cut away the covering film. And so we have the leading edge, two side ribs, and the, the main spar to uh, work on as our surfaces. And uh, basically, what we did is we measured, and this is about three inches, and this is about two and a quarter inches. I gave myself a little bit of a, a extra, a little bit of a lip, very good, uh, with the yellow. And once I cut this away, I went ahead and sealed on a new piece uh, using the rib main spar and leading edge as adhesion points. And uh, once we did that, I took the heat gun here, got all the wrinkles out of it. You never want to put wrinkles on top of wrinkles, otherwise you get two old people. No, not two old people. You get more wrinkles. Oh, same yeah. thing. <laughs> okay, going on. Make sure your first layer is smooth before you uh, put the second layer on. Then, I went ahead and measured out the black and it was roughly about an uh, inch and three quarters by three inches. Laid it on once again, giving myself some extra room on the uh, leading edge to wrap around, making sure it was beyond the yellow that I put on there. Otherwise, you get a little yellow rectangle. We don't want that. So once we did that, I went ahead and tacked the outside corners, tacked the uh, leading edge corners, ran my iron down real carefully where the leading edge of the uh, of the color, where the two colors met, to get that nice and firmly sealed. Then I went ahead and started working the bubbles out. Now, one thing, guys, is when you have the, the film on top of the film, you'll get bubbles there, and you don't want that. So what you can do is take the tip of a number 11 exact knife, and you gotta be very careful, but as you're sealing this down, you'll get the raised up bubbles on, on this area. Just puncture, just ever so slightly, the very top layer of that uh, film, and then take your iron, and then work the air towards that. Much like you're putting a decal on, on something, uh, like a window, you, you put little pinholes in there, and then start working with the squeegee out. So just work those bubbles out and uh, then after that take your heat gun get it nice and hot and then fan it over now one th important thing is is don't sit on the film until all the wrinkles are gone get on the film work it from one end to the other and then take the heat off and let it continue to shrink if you stay on the film too long oftentimes it'll burn a hole through it and you don't want that because then you're starting all over again yep all right so basically that's how you do two-tone once again start with the lighter color first go with the darker color second you won't have any issues and uh, always make sure you have a little bit overlap a little bit greater every time you put another layer on make sure it overlaps the other layer otherwise you'll have a raised edge it won't look very good and you won't have a very good seal okay all right man all in all don't be afraid to try to fix your airplanes um, out in the field of course clear tape also works too but this is a much better much prettier way to do it yeah you did a great job thanks looks excellent well, so we want to thank you guys for watching we want to thank hobby king for sponsoring this episode and uh, let's go put the rest of this guy back you know, together. I think we can do that now. All right. We'll see you next time.